G'day guys, welcome back. Now, I'm gonna do the 3D blooms again, and hopefully not getting sick of them. But the ones that I did the other day where I didn't take the temperature of my resin, I wasn't that happy with them. And I did it twice with waiting different times. And I still wasn't real happy with it. So I'm going back to my original way of taking its temperature. So I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, I stirred for four minutes. I left it in its cup until it got to 40 degrees. I took its temperature, 40 degrees Celsius. Then I put 30 grams, one ounce in there. And then I divided the rest into these two coasters here. So that's what I've done so far. Now I'm going to start dropping some colours. I thought I'd use the Deco Rom. I've got lavender. These are just cheapies from Amazon. Let's see how they go, hey? Whoops, there we go. There's lavender. And then I've got grape. So just shades of sort of pinks and purples today. I don't know how, why they spit like that, but they do. I'm going to try and sort of drop them from a height and see if they'll spread a little bit further. So that was the lavender. This one's called fuchsia. I'm seeing if I can drop them from a height. I'm probably about five inches or so from the, the top. What have I got next? Um, ruby. Ruby. So yeah, just sort of pinky purpley tones rather than those bright ones I did the other day because I've done a couple of those now and I'm, you know, move on, do something different. No point seeing the same thing each time. Whoa, oh my gosh, that one spilled. This one is called Peach. I wonder if I can get that out. Mm. Why did you have to spill? Try and get him out of there so that he's not stuck to the side. There we go. That'll do. That'll do, kind of. <laughs> Just soaked it up. All right, let's try that again. Peach. There you go. All right, so uh, I'm going to do one more drop of each colour. So that was the peach. Um, and then the ruby was over here. I don't want too much. I want to be able to see the white through the colour, but they don't look as if they're going to be very big. Now, fuchsia. Oh gosh, was that you? <laughs> oh, no, I can't remember, yes. That's the fuchsia. So Deco Rom, R-O-M is what those are called. Mm, grape, I think, was there. I may still add more colour. We'll see. See what happens if I need any more. But I don't. I, sometimes you know you can't even see through um, all the ink to your actual white. So I'd rather have them a little bit more delicate, so not so bright. I'll, I will swirl them in a minute. So that's done. Let's move on to the white. Um, make sure we're still taping. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so I'm going to use the Just Resin. Look, I think any white pigment paste will work. I'm just going to dip it in, give it a bit of a stir around. Wipe off the top, wipe off the bottom. Whatever's left on will stay. I may add another little bit. We'll see. And I'm going to add four drops of the white alcohol ink. One, two, three, four. Oops, five went in. That's by Pinata. I may have to add a little bit more white because this is a whole ounce in here now, like 30 grams. And I can feel it's warming up. So I'm going to wait until this gets to 40 degrees again because when you decant it out of your cup, because it's quite deep in the cup, even though I only made up a little bit, I did 80 grams of A and 37 grams of B. So it's not a lot, but it's still quite deep in the cup. And, um, you know, as you know, the resin, the deeper it is, the hotter it gets, the faster it gets. So <laughs> decant. I decanted when it got to 40 degrees. Now I'm just going to have a little look at, clean that and then look at the other side of my stick. 
and see what it looks like. Yep, you can still see the stick through there, so I don't, that's what I want. I don't want it too, too heavy, but it does need a little bit more stirring. Because it was a bit streaky. I've got to make sure that it's not streaky, hey? So it's like skim milk. When I tilt it like that, you can still see the stick through there, so that's perfect. Don't want very much at all. The white pigment pastes are very strong. Okay, so that's it. Um, and then let me check its temperature again. Like I said, I want to wait till this gets to 40 degrees. It's different with each resin. Like each resin will get to a, the, oh, the thickness, I guess, that you need at different times. When I use the Platinum Ultra Clear, I wait an hour before I pipe. What does that say? 42.7. Oh, 42.7. Oh, gosh. Okay. Here, my thinking it was 32.7. Are you sure that's 42.7? Okay. Well, hang on. 42. 43. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's got to 40 degrees. So, I'm going to put that in here, in my little piping bag. And... I'm going to write that down. So I think I'll be piping at five. It's what is it now? It's two minutes past nine for me. So at five past nine, that will be like 25 minutes. So let's give this a bit of a just a bit of a swirl here. Move on to the next colour. I'll do each colour and then I can just wipe my stick once. So I don't want to incorporate too much of the other colours. I don't know, can you see that it's kind of thickening up now? The resin? It's like honey. That's what you're after. You need it to be quite thick. I hope I haven't left it too long now, chatting away. Alright, let's do this. It's usually about 20, 20 minutes that I need to pipe if I'm going by time. Uh, if I'm going by temperature. If I'm going by time, it's, well the last one I did was half an hour and it didn't really, it still didn't even work after half an hour. All right. Oops, I better close my little thermometer there. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put the leaves in later. I've got some green there for the leaves. And it's three minutes past nine, but I'm going by the thermometer. So let's do this. I'm going to do slightly bigger rings. Last time I did quite small, thin rings, and uh, that didn't really spread as much as it should have. So I'm just going to try and do them a bit wider this time. You want your white resin to kind of be sitting on top of your clear resin. If it sinks straight away, it's too thin and you need to wait until it's warmed up and thickened up. I'm not even looking to see what this one's doing, I'm just piping. Hopefully it is. Now don't rush, just take your time. And right up to the outside there. Okay. I think this one could do with a, another one just there. I'll come back and do a little bit more on them if, if I need to. Kind of doing like oval shapes because I wanted to get into the centre a little bit. my first one I did my centers were were blank <laughs> had nothing in there and then I thought oh, I better do like an oval shape just so that I have actually got some white resin in the center like that so we're kind of piping an oval rather than a, a circle Mm, 
And I haven't got a lot of color on here, as you can see. The color's very, very, um, very pale, very kind of pastel, which is fine. Now let's go back and have a look at this one and see if I need to add anything else here. Oh my gosh, it's blooming, you guys. I'm so excited. <gasps> wow. Okay. Um, I might actually just do a little, little one in the middle. Why not? I might drop a little bit of green in the centre there, actually. Okay, I'm going to drop the colour afterwards, the green afterwards. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I didn't see the last two I did of these. I wasn't that happy with it. It just didn't just didn't bloom. Okay, right, here we go. Um, I'm going to go out, 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 out. Actually, I won't wipe. It'll be here all day if I wipe each one. I'll just wipe each colour. I may not do the um, like the innies as well. I might just do the outies, so to speak. We'll see. Oops, there's something on that because it's such a little tiny bloom, and I think you know putting too much into it, like out and in, like we would normally do. You know how we go in now. I might just, might just leave it. Um, just incorporate those, oops, you're a bit off kilter there, yes you are, I'll just leave it like that. I've got a little bit of white in there, so hopefully that will look pretty. Okay, so now, a little bit of green, hey? I'm a bit unsure what to do with the green, but let's just put a little, little drop in each of these petals. Uh, these are my leaves. <laughs> these are my leaves, the other ones are my petals. So this is also the Decoron, and it's just called, that one's, Kiwi, like a kiwi fruit. Oh my gosh, just knocked them all over. Ah, they're like Skittles. Everyone's going over. One goes over and they all go over. All right, um, now that's kind of spread a lot, hasn't it? I just want to see if I can get a little bit of that green to go <laughs> into, the set, into the middle there, between. There we go, that'll do. Okay. Uh, I don't think it matters that it's kind of spread. I mean, leaves do that. You get your petals and then your leaves are kind of underneath on the background. And I think that'll, I think it'll be all right. I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. I'm going to give it a last little torch. I was contemplating, you know, doing some green in the centre, but uh, I'm just going to leave it. Oh, I didn't do this one. This one. Why didn't you guys tell me I didn't do this one? There. Is that everybody now? I did down there. All right, you're out, you're out. 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 <laughs> out. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you could, if you wanted to go in again. Shall I do that? What would it look like? All right, I'll just, I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just do a little bit like that, just a tiny bit. Just to give it a little bit of interest, just like going through the first couple of lines, not even pulling through right into the center, just to give it a little bit more interest, I guess. But yeah, you certainly don't have to. I think they're, because they're so small. I don't even know if that shape's going to stay like that. They might just all <laughs> come back. All right, let's do each little swirl in the center. 
and then we're done oh my gosh I'm so happy with it you guys it's blooming it's blooming okay so those ones I did two of them hopefully you saw them and I'll put them up because you know you guys like to see what happens if things don't work and why things don't work so I'll put them up anyway but um, it was basically I just waited by time instead of what doing the temperature but it just it didn't it didn't work as well so we're going back to the temperature right that's it done let me clean up my mess clean off my little stick there I'll try and clean this no it's all dry from my last one I think <laughs> yep <laughs> all right that's me done I am going to take you down for a close-up and um, show you what this looks like and hopefully it's not blobby on the other side move my ring light to get in behind you it's a real effort now <laughs> because everything's gone do you want to see you want to see my studio oh my gosh look that my shelves were there <laughs> That's still there, but it's empty. <laughs> My um, unit that was in front of the garage door has gone. Gone! That door's coming down in the next couple of days. And this wall here, this had all my shelving with my paint on it. <laughs> it's all gone. So I've kept, I've got a little area there where I can still do my, my work. My other shelves that were there have gone. I've kept some cups and my clock. I've kept a box of micas. Um, I've kept my inks. But um, my little table where I take photos in the in the sunlight. But basically, yeah, it's all gone. And then I've got that little area there where I'm still videoing. So yeah, everything else has gone up to the shed packed away gone up to the shed so i'm still working in here today my last probably my last day but you'll see this video in you know in a couple of weeks no doubt because i'm saving up videos to put up why oh, can't we focus don't you hate it when your phone doesn't upgrade and then it just doesn't work as well as it used to. hate that. Still debating whether or not I should have put a colour in the middle. Mm, we'll see. We'll see what happens. See what happens. We'll see what those leaves are going to do. <laughs> I look a bit messy at the moment. Maybe we didn't even need leaves. I don't know. Anyway, um, we'll see what it looks like. I will demould it later on tonight and uh, show you the finished product, okay? But so far, it's looking really pretty. So hopefully it's worked on the other side. Right, see you soon. So it's later on in the day. I've got another two things in the other two <laughs> little coast cavities there. So I'll have to take these out carefully. Because the other two aren't ready to come out yet. But these two are. So I'll just get them out and pop them here and then I'll carefully put my mold back because the others aren't set properly yet. A little bit of overflow there. All right, let me just move that. Right, good to go. Well, I wonder what these are gonna look like. Oh, that's so exciting, isn't it? It's the best part of the day when you get to unmold something, isn't it? So much fun. All right. She can go over there for a minute. Are we ready? Now it's later on in the day, so hopefully we've got some good light still. Let's have a little look. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty. Isn't it? It's just lovely and delicate. Look at the lovely little swirl we've got in all of these. 
and they match the pinkies and the purplies together. And we've got the little swirl there. And the leaves look pretty good. You probably can't see them real well with that background. Let's put a bit of black card there so that you can see the actual flowers. Don't they look pretty? Oh, wow. So happy with them. I was a bit concerned that I put, you know, too many, too many lines and drawn through too many sticks and things like that but it seems to have worked okay now where's my little white i had a white card let me see if i can find that sometimes it's nice to look at it on a white background as well as a dark there we go see now you can see the green probably looks better on a white background doesn't it because on the black you couldn't see the, the green. So it's just a little hint of green, you know. They don't necessarily look like leaves, but they're just a little hint of green. Alrighty, let's have a look at the next one. So that's it there. I'll put that over the top. And we will flip her over. Ready? Oh, look, it's just as pretty. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? to stop and answer a call it was my son we're coming over for dinner <laughs> well we're gonna get some tie some tie for dinner so there we go there it is uh, which one do you prefer are they pretty much equal I've only got one piece of white card I don't know that it makes that much difference really I mean one was done a few minutes before the other one so I don't know if it makes a lot of difference but there it is on the white and there it is on the black they both look really pretty all right well happy with those <laughs> these are so much fun to create I love doing them all right so thank you again for watching hope you're enjoying my little flower videos hope you're not getting sick of them if you've seen enough, let me know. <laughs> I'll move on to something else. But there's so much fun. Actually, I think this one's got the better swirl in the middle, hey? The tighter, tighter swirl. So that might be my favourite. What do you think? <laughs> there we go. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay. Bye for now.